Hi everyone, for this short video I just want to walk you through um, a technique we use called dimensional analysis for doing metric conversions. It's very helpful and we'll use it a lot for all kinds of things. So let's get started. First I'm going to assume that you have reviewed uh, your metric system um, worksheet and that you can do very simple um, conversions like this. Okay, um, but, but you know, maybe you're not totally comfortable with it yet, so you'll get lots of practice doing it. Uh, for number one, we're just going to practice uh, reviewing our definitions. So little m is milli, so that's a prefix that means 10 to the minus 3. Um, and by the way, um, that's sort of my limit for how small I will go um, in terms of using decimal places. If you like to do that, that's fine. But if it gets any smaller than this, I would prefer scientific notation. Same with big numbers, like 10, kilo means 10 to the 3. I'm okay with you writing 1,000 if you want to, but any more zeros than that, and I want you to use scientific notation. All right? So just practice filling in those definitions. The next part is to think about these as conversions, like uh, as fractions. So for example, if... Um, a centimeter equals uh, 10 to the minus 2 meters. I'm just using substitution here. So centi from up here, 10 to the minus 2. So um, centi means 10 to the minus 2. You just fill that in. Okay. Um, if I flip it, then I need to take the inverse, right? Instead of 10 to the minus 2, I need 10 to the 2. All right. And so keep going with that. And what I want you to think about is that sometimes you see it as one centimeter equals, you see it in a linear fashion. And what we're doing here is we're making it into a fraction. One centimeter and this line represents equals 10 to the minus two meters. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter which direction we go. We could say 10 to the minus two meters equals one centimeter as well. Right? So we can flip all of these and let's do that. 10 to the 2 centimeters or 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. And I know it's sort of weird to write 10 to the 2 instead of just 100. You're more than welcome to write 100 here. In fact, let me just do that because I think it'll be easier to remember. There we go. Okay. Ah, that feels so good. All right, so once we do that, you want to finish this and flip all of them as well. Now, the technique of dimensional analysis is very cool. The idea is simply that units can be treated like numbers. For example, if we had 4 divided by 2, you can simplify that into 4 is 2 times 2 over 2, and you can cancel those, right? Well, same thing with centimeters. If I had centimeters cubed, squared, over centimeters, I could cancel those out. Okay, so I'm going to use that concept and uh, set up some conversions here. I want to go from centimeters to meters. I want to use a conversion that has centimeters and meters in it. So I'm going to scroll up here and see that this first conversion will work. Centimeters to meters. So. Uh, then I will use either this version or that version, depending on how my units are set up. If I have centimeters, this is considered top. So there's sort of an invisible one down here. Some students like to write that one there, just so they know this is on top. And then in the next one, I want the centimeters to cancel out. So whatever is up at the top here goes to the bottom down here. That means my centimeters has its place on the bottom, and I want my meters on the top. And then I just fill in the numbers so they make sense. Now here's the thing though, there's two possible conversions. Here's one with centimeters on bottom and meters on top. And here's one with centimeters on bottom and meters on top. And notice that multiplying, let's see, let's say I use this one. 10 to the minus 2 over 1, because that's this conversion here. Uh, that's the same as dividing it using the inverse, right? 1 over 10 to the 2 is the same as 10 to the minus 2 over 1. So they're just inverses of each other. So uh, it doesn't really matter which one I use. 
uh, as long as these units cancel out. So here's my centimeter. It's going to cancel out with my centimeter down here. And so my answer is going to be in meters. That's why I end up with the meters. So my answer is going to be 30 times 10 to the minus 2. And so that's going to be the same as moving the decimal place to the left twice. So I'm going to have 0.3. All right, cool. So now um, let's do the next one. 45 meters and I have centimeters here. So I want my meters to go down here. I always do the unit first and then I uh, figure out what the numbers should be. So once I know meters goes on the bottom, centimeters goes on the top, then I will probably use what makes most sense to me. Like I like thinking of it like a hundred small units of centimeters equals one bigger unit of meters. I like that version of it, but it's up to you. Um, putting 10 to the minus two down here is the same thing, right? So 45 times 100 is 4,500. So remember this is on the top. So you multiply going across, and then if you have any numbers in the bottom, you d divide by those numbers. So let's say I had uh, the other version here. One centimeter on top and 10 to the minus two meters on bottom. So what I would do is 45 times one. I do the top numbers, multiply those, 45 times one, and then I divide by the bottom numbers. So I divide by one, and then I divide by 10 to the minus two. I'm sorry, this is so messy. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna multiply these two, and then I'm gonna divide by these, these guys. So 45 divided by 10 to the minus two is the same as 45 times 10 to the two. So I'm still gonna get the same answer, 4,500. All right, so give those a try, and then when you get down here, you can set them up yourself. So let me help you with a couple of these. So 900 grams, you always just start your setup with that. Again, if you want to, you can put a one there if that helps you remember this is on the top. Then set up a fraction. Now we have grams going to kilograms, so I know at the end I want my answer to be in kilogram. So I figure out, okay, I need a conversion from gram to kilogram. I want grams to cancel out, so I'm going to put grams down here, and I'm going to put kilograms up here. Then I need to figure out what these numbers are. Now kilo means a thousand, so one kilogram is a thousand grams. And then you do everything on the top multiplied divided by everything in the bottom. So 900 times 1 divided by 1, which is the same, divided by 1,000. So 900 divided by 1,000 is 0.9. When you do this, by the way, we use sig figs. So if I have one sig fig here, then I want to make sure I have one sig fig here. All right, go ahead and give these a try and good luck.